through this computer. Look at that. Cool. It says it's recording. Okay. Awesome. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Hello, uh, Discord kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So copying. Okay. Uh oh, Wonderful. did that fuck Fantastic. it up? Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we're okay over here, but it might have changed your Zoom recording. Hang on. Uh, yeah. I'm glad we're capturing this. Hey, everybody, look. Pro Tools is crashing. <laughs> awesome. to ask. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, the change of the compressor came along with that pace. That's nice. Oh, yeah. All right. Should I look at the bass in the outro? Uh, yeah, why not? I think it's the first half of a chorus. Yeah, can you screen and then share it goes the off into something else. Can you screen oh, share I'm sorry. the Pro Tools? Yeah. I forgot it. I done forgot to redo it. There you go. So I'm going to grab the first half of a chorus. I'm guessing mm. it's about that far. How far is a chorus? I guess I have to listen. <laughs> ah, it's still there. Okay. Then we'll put it on the outro. Exits that paste and goes to the where Kyle played next. The compressor needs to be told to continue where it was. Something like that. I gotta just erase that note right there. There you go. We might want more of it, but again, we haven't balanced all the other instruments. Yeah, I think I'm he's playing harder here, so. Okay. All right. Where should we go now? Hmm, good question. I guess go back to um, when the drums kick in. We'll start building things in. <laughs> guitar probably needs to be balanced with the uh, guitar that's panning um. okay that one that one which is about to change to the other one in the chorus <laughs> that one but yeah. for the moment you mean seven yeah for the moment I mean track seven so there's and that, and then think... there's um, there's another guitar mm -hmm. that is just uh, playing yeah, just like little notes. I can't remember there. where it was. It's half of a stereo pair. 
Yeah. On one yeah, side. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a stereo pair since I maintain the panning. Where did I put? Hold on, let's make everything bigger. Oh, it's okay. guitar rings. Probably should kind of look oh. at that. Okay. Yeah, keep keep that keep that soloed along. I kind of want to focus on all the guitars right here. Okay. Uh, it might be that clicky clicky stereo. Thirty-eight. I think that's percussion, isn't it? Yeah, that's percussion. Uh, oh, echo guitar. Uh, Twenty-one and twenty-two. I added a bit of a bit of reverb to echo guitar. Is that is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, all the guitars can probably use a little bit of reverb. Okay. Or at least the guitars in this section. I don't know about the chorus ones. <laughs> Okay, I added some to main electric guitar. I think it might be too much. And guitar rings, I think that's already got some on it. I don't know that it needs more. Yeah, I think that came with reverb. Okay. I think that's all the guitars. The banjo's uh, well, doing there's, something. There's also the banjo, so you could right. you could turn the banjo on too, so we can balance that as well. And I've already EQ'd the banjo earlier okay. and put a little reverb on it. Okay, cool. Let me show you what the EQ looks like. I took away, if I remember right, quite a bit of low end and added a lot of high end. One of the first things to do with these guitars is um, make sure that any low end rumble is like out of there. Okay. Which it seems that's like you did that on the banjo. Yeah. Let's look at the two rhythm guitars. pretty good as far as <laughs> low end yeah uh echo guitar This one, we should, we'll have to add a plug in if we want to EQ this. Well, it sounds pretty thin to me now. I don't know that we need to worry about bottom end, but I'll look at it if you want. Yeah, it might not need any bottom end adjustment, but uh, I kind of like to just kill kill the lows on things no matter what, right, just to make it. sure. cool yeah and in the chorus yeah that's fine
pause here and save my mix on the console just to be sure if Pro Tools crashes again, I'm not going to lose that. Hang on a second. I had already EQ'd it and compressed it a little bit. Okay, cool. And I think it's good. Okay. It's very thin and high. Like, I yeah. think that's what you want. Yeah, definitely. Is that all right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What now? Um, is that everything in that section? I th think it is, except for vocals, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The percussion's already in. Maybe we could put a little of the drum reverb on the clicky stereo. Yeah. Compress uh, track 46 guitar ring a little bit uh, to get the tail end of the ring to kind of uh, keep sticking out. Okay. I feel like it kind of drops off. Getting it? Yeah, I'm yeah. Compressing it pretty hard. Possibly overload. It says it's peaking, but I don't see a peak, and I don't hear one. I, th I think uh, it's the near peak, not the actual peak peak. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just pull down the makeup the makeup game just a tad. <laughs> Better? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's this thing, little squeak that happens halfway through. Yeah. I think that's all right. You feel good about that? Play it again. Little thing that only appears once in the entire song. <laughs> Classic McLean. Yeah. Okay. And then, um. Okay, probably probably move on to the chorus, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> I like how the synth bass and the bass are working. You good with that? Um, synth bass and yeah, the, yeah. The synth bass and the bass are working. Um, uh, let's look at the guitars here. Okay. 
There's this one for. I haven't done anything to it yet. It seems to have some reverb on it already. Okay, I think that's kind of nice. Yeah. Well, I think we should probably get rid of the noise before it starts. Yeah. Pretty crunchy. Is that too much, or do you like it like that? Um. Good. Sorry, what? Seems to be good. Okay. Should I compress it, or is it okay? Um, I think it's okay right now. Um. Do you want to like just make sure any low end on it? Is yeah, good? I did that. Okay, cool. Then me, uh, what else comes in in here? Erase all the empty parts. Get this pretty noisy guitar. Okay, back to the first chorus. Uh, let's see. There's this distortion uh, oh, guitar there's, here. Yeah, there's another guitar there. Hard pan left. It is currently hard pan right. Let me get pretty close. No wait, I lied. It's near. Why does it seem? Okay, left. You say? Hard panned right. They should be hard panned. The yes, the rhythm guitar up here that we were just looking at. Yeah. Yep. The first yeah. one is quite a bit louder at the moment, but yeah. we haven't really make them make them like match. Okay. Is the the first one too loud compared to the track, and the other one should come up, or the other way around, or somewhere in the middle? Um. I mean, can you even know that yet? <laughs> I, I don't even know if we know that yeah. yet. <laughs> Hang on. I think the first one's about in the right place, so I'm gonna bring up the other one. Yeah. Brought down the first one just a bit, and brought up the second one quite a bit. Yeah. I think we're fairly balanced now. What do you think? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> okay. Uh, another guitar, the guitar ring thing. Oh yeah, that. Which is now off to the left. Yes. Earlier it was to the right. Pretty buried. Yeah, you might need to automate it or something. Mm -hmm.
too much there? Yeah, a little too much. Yeah. Is it still too much? Uh, that's a pretty good level. Okay. Very I, the, the first one needed more help than the ones after it, as far as I could hear. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. pretty clear now maybe too much I'm not sure yep. that better i think yeah you can bring the gain of the clip up just a little bit more though like maybe instead of okay. 1.8 maybe you bring it up to like one point like minus 1.5 or so I think that's all instruments for the chorus now. Yes. So the second verse, unless something's added that wasn't in the first verse, is probably good. Yeah, yeah. There's a little few extraneous sounds, but we can wait till we put the vocals in. Oh uh, wait, okay. there's a well. Yeah, there's a. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. There's a glock that comes in. And halfway through, the fake kick starts also. Oh yeah, yeah. So we got these uh other fake a whole bunch of drums actually. Yeah. So let's uh, add those in. I believe they're already on. We'll just see what they're doing. The the real kick drum and cymbals are happening here also. Yes. Do we, so we want all of that at once? At the same time as real drums, so we just got to balance them. Okay. Because sometimes the fake kick and the real kick are not agreeing on exactly where they're supposed to hit. That's so we might want to adjust one or the other. Probably adjust the real one. Yeah. Like right there, that one. I think yeah. I'm late. Yeah, if you're going to adjust, you should adjust the real one. Say again? If you're going to adjust, you should adjust the real one. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, way early in there. I think it was just 
that one hit. Okay, cool. The fake hi-hat is maybe a little loud. And this is the first and only time it appears in the song. Yeah. Is it okay if I bring that down a little bit? Yeah, you can do that. And that little pop thing on 33. Yeah, yeah, the fake track 33. Bring that down too. And maybe give it a little reverb. Sure. Actually, I don't mind its volume. It just feels a little out front and dry. Yeah, I would still bring it down, but um, you can put, you can run these. You can run all of this through the drum reverb if you want. All right. Probably too much, but I'm enjoying that. Oh, yeah, the drums are real dry, and then this tom, which really sounds like it's yeah. got a ton of reverb on it. Maybe a little reverb on the fake kick. Yeah. Not too much, just a touch. I kind of like a lot of it. That was yeah. weird. Is that too much? Yeah. When the when the real kick and the fake one hit, the real one's getting most of the attention. Yeah. And so when it's just Which the fake one and there's a bunch of reverb on it, that's kind of cool. And then uh, then we get another strong hit that doesn't have all that reverb and it goes mm -hmm. back and forth. I like that. Meanwhile, the snare is real dry, and I think we should it should stay that way. Yeah, that's fine. We good? Yeah. Okay. So now we have um. What's this uh, thing that comes in right here? Instable? I think it's... Oh, yeah. That's on track one. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't happened yet. It's halfway through the pre-chorus. <laughs> something oh, else okay. has started. Yeah, something else Something else came in there. Uh, Pad oh, Lucas? Pa Pad Lucas. That's what that is. Also, uh, Riso Atmosphere? Yeah. That's that, and here's the Riso thing. So I think the pad could come down a bit. Yeah, the pad can definitely come down. The, the pad Riso should be up. a little bit, a little more subtle. Like, well, it should be obviously coming in, but yeah, it doesn't need to be super loud. <laughs> I think I'll bring up the clip gain of the Riso thing. Mm -hmm. It does happen again later, but I think it'll probably need it there too. Yeah, I had it cranked up on the fader too. Maybe EQ some low end out of that. Yeah. You know. Um. There is room on, say, the trombone track, which is a stereo track that doesn't come in for quite a while, mm -hmm. 
to put the reso thing there and give it analog EQ. Um, at least for this. I don't know I how think necessary that is. Because it's, it's such okay. a subtle part. It feels like a guitar, though. That's why I'm thinking that way, but I won't if you don't want me to bother. But yeah, there's room. The bass trombone doesn't start till well after it's done. What do you think? Um, I, I say leave it where it is just because it's okay. uh, it, it's okay. real it's a really subtle track. Like I, it, it's a thing that I don't want out in front. You know, it should be kind okay. of just kind of inside the the mix, not really on top of anything. Okay. Just knock out some low end. Yeah. say pull pull the pull that down a little yeah okay okay cool and the um how are you Pat feeling Lucas? about Pat Lucas? Do you think that needs any EQing or anything? Maybe take really a little off. It's so, it's so white noisy. Yeah. I was thinking I wanna, maybe just take... I don't, I don't know. Maybe it could use some killing of the highs or something. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, just take some of that off the top. Yeah. Leave everything else. Maybe take even more than that. That makes it a little more haunting that way. Yeah. Maybe take it down just a bit. Sure, yeah. Where are we? Maybe the bass guitar should come down a bit. Yeah, okay. All right. Other stuff to look at, or have we looked at everything for this bit? Um, well, we I don't think we looked at the Glock, which actually happened earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, track, you just passed it. Uh, track 45. 45. Right, wow. I 
I didn't even notice it. Might need to compress it. Possibly. It looks like it's kind of weird volume wise. It's all to, it's a stereo track, but it's all to the left. Yeah, you and can you can make it a mono track if you want. I think but I it's, will. it's supposed to be panned to the left. Okay. Hard left? Yeah, hard left. Hard I'm hearing the sparkle of it, but I'm not really hearing like the uh, the hit of the mallet, you know. Low or high in its range? Um. Well, it's 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 like only highs, isn't it? Well, there's some clunk to the top of it. I mean, to the to the attack of it, because it's well, just got. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe pull the uh, pull the attack up a little. Yeah, that seems to be helping. Its sound is also getting to my ear combined with the fake hi-hat. Yeah. They seem, they're kind of like one because they're both to the left and they're both pretty high. Is that okay or should we try to give them their own space if possible yeah 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 give them their own space a little bit it's gonna Maybe, be tricky because um, they're pretty similar uh let me try undoing the extra high i gave this thing in fact i'll take some off and then crank it up a bit <laughs> that yeah i like that better okay maybe take the hi-hat down a bit um you talking about the fake hi-hat or the yeah the fake one uh yeah sure I think that's better. Mm -hmm. um, the fake hat, hi hat, bleh. the fake hi hat is mostly to the left, as is the Glock, as is the real hi hat. Should yeah. one of those go to the right, or just leave them all there? Um. Well, the real hi hat, I don't think, is doing yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, the, the real hi hats aren't doing anything. It's just similar. Yeah. Yeah, maybe pull the 
pull the fake hi hat on the right. Say again. Put the fake hi hat on the right. Okay. See Just for this does. section. Uh, I think it only happens in this section, right? I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna make it a mono track. All the way to the right, or just mostly the uh, right? Yeah, all the way to the right. Okay. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's better. I like that. Which reminds me, you still in stereo? You must be. Yes, I am. <laughs> Sound pretty good. Yeah. Feel good about that. Um, you want to put some feed the uh, Glock into a little bit of reverb? Sure. Drum reverb or vocal reverb? Probably drum. All right. And, and not a lot of it. Ah. Just a right. just a little bit of Glock reverb. All right. Kind of hard to tell the difference. Yeah, it, that's it's fine. Kind of that's fine. I can't, okay. I, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Awesome. Now what? Let's see what else we got. Okay. Um, I know in this uh, next section we got some uh, wacky stuff. I think. Mm hmm. That percussion stuff, clave kind of thing. Right, is, this, this is, is that new? Does that only happen starting here? I think so. Well, those are big. That. What am I, I haven't found the track that's doing it yet, though. That's so weird. I hear it very distinctly, but I don't see it yet. Oh, maybe it's this. Probably not, though. You hear that? On the end of two? It's not the shaker. It's not those shakers? Man. Yeah, there we got those shakers that come in there. And yeah, but that's not doing. It. It's in between when this shaker hits and when this shaker hits. Are you sure it's not the marky waves? I don't think so, cause those are not that percussive. I don't think. Let me solo that. Yeah, we haven't even added those in yet. No, it's not that. And I don't think it's this. Oh, it's. I'm sorry. It's. <laughs> It's like a, a scrapey reverby noise from the Riso atmosphere. Yeah, I think yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Actually, while we're thinking about that, let's actually blend the marquee waves in with the Rezo atmosphere since they're happening at the same time. All right. So we'll definitely need to like compress those or something. <laughs> Kind of on the same level as the Rezo atmosphere, just uh, okay. it should be subtle in the mix. Hold, hold them down so that they're like almost like behind the Rezo atmosphere. Okay. I think 
that's a match. Some other clip synth gain thing. on it just a little bit. Say again? Bring up the clip gain on it just a little bit. On Marky Waves? Yeah. All right, so it's six like, now. Should I go to six and a half? Yeah, yeah, try six and a half. Instable thing up top that comes right. in. I've got that off to the left mostly at the moment, but I don't know if that's what you want. Uh, let me see what that's supposed to be. I believe that was a stereo track, but only mono. Only a signal on one side, so I made it mono. Okay, let me see. Instable. Oh, that happens in other places in the song. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't it even does. That. Should we stay where we are or go to the earlier spots? Uh, stay where we are right now. To the right? Vibra Slap City here. Mm -hmm. So how's that instable? How do you say that? Sounding, anyway? It's sounding pretty good to me. Okay. Vibra Slap's a little too much. Too much Vibra Slap. Way too much Vibra Slap. I hardly ever get any vibra slap anymore. So I went nuts. Where is that? better no, let me hear that again the level is good um you might want to pull a little high highs highs out of it though just to get okay. the you know ring of it again like more highs i mean oh add highs okay yeah add add some highs like so yeah yeah is it going to the drum reverb it is as a matter i'm sorry no it's going to the other reverb should i send a drum reverb instead yeah i think it drums it's a percussion thing you can that make drums sense. Should I turn it down a little bit now that it's got all the high end? 
No, I think I think it's fine. Okay. All right. Now we have a bunch of uh, random little noises we got to take care of. <laughs> Further down, I believe. What do we got here? Computer eyes, track 39. Maybe raise that a bit. Yeah. Now these these should be slightly subtle, but you know, enough to make it interesting. How's that? Uh, a little bit less. Oh, okay. I thought that was part of the other one. More? Less? Change it some other uh, way? Less. down the level just a little bit more. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Okay. okay. Next, we got I know we got another one. Another the vibra slap there, but I think that's all right. Yeah, the vibra slap's good. Uh, what do we got? Uh, the noise is another one, and then, yeah, 61. Maybe raise that a bit? I'd say compress it. Bring up the attack too. How's that? Yeah. down the makeup gain on it just a little bit. Now I know there's another one uh, up above. 
Another noise? Yeah, there's another noise. See if we can see. Uh, Crash Course, track 40. Compress like we do on the other. Um, one. maybe. Yeah, you can try compressing it. I, I was kind of saying maybe, maybe just turn it up. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Punctuated by a vibe or slap. Yeah. Pretty subtle, but I think that's all right. Yeah, I like that. All right. Now what? I think that's everything in that section now. It appears that way. Maybe this Glock is too loud. Yeah, less Glock now. Maybe send it to the right rather than the left. Um, what's going on on the left? Uh, guitar. I think the guitar is the only thing that's happening that's only one side. Yeah. Maybe just a little. Yeah, you can automate it just a little bit to the right. Okay. Maybe you like. So that's know, still mostly to the right. left? Say again? Um, well, maybe it could go to the right, but just a little bit to the right. Like halfway. Maybe halfway to the right. It starts off at a pretty good level, but then it gets louder. Yeah. I think. So also drop maybe, it. Maybe more right than that. Oh, okay. How's that sound? Pretty good. All right. Um, you, you did say that it sounds like it gets louder. Yeah, I was dropping it as it went. Okay, cool. I think it's a, it stayed pretty balanced then. Cool. All right. Anything else happening in that verse? I think that's it for that verse. Okay. Yep. Okay. Second chorus. Second chorus.
point. Anything else in that verse? I mean, chorus? Not other than uh, that warble that, that ends it. Was the instable thing okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's listen to that. I think I can pick it out on its own, but uh, maybe it's fine. Just there's one more layer that's adding to the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, it it might be fine. Yeah, because it because it, 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 it keeps more? going even when the instruments drop out. Uh huh. Okay, so should we leave it alone? And we'll get its um, there. Actually, maybe um, separate the clips starting at uh, chorus two and pull it up. Pull that up by like half a dB. Okay. section where nothing's happening pull it up just a bit okay and maybe it should uh, go back down when the rest of the stuff comes out And then on the next section. It reverts back to where it was, and I think that's probably all right. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure that section out. All right. Other stuff in this first outro section? Um, yeah, let me hear it again. guitar solo. Yep. And it's got reverb in it. And yeah. probably echo too. Yeah. Could maybe pull some like lows or lower mids out of it. Okay. its level um i think it's pretty pretty good okay 
And it's panned up the middle at the moment. Yes, All right. that's where it should be. Okay. <laughs> Track 68. Actually, it happens looks, before that, too. Yeah, it looks like it happens twice. transitions into the next section. Okay. Let's start with volume. And then let's do it and compress a little bit. sweeping the frequency of the bass boost as that goes. <laughs> that one without the sweep mm -hmm. uh, but maybe a little reverb on that one sure yeah so i'm gonna try the vocal reverb see what that does that's too oh much my. much too much Probably too much also, and I think I want to have it start with less and wind up with more. That's cool. Is it all too loud now? Yeah, you can maybe pull the clip gain down just a little. Cool. Yeah. Let me hear the second one again. I'll try one more. Pull it down just a little bit so that uh, it's not overpowering the, the tom hits. Okay. 
And I'm going to try one more thing with the EQ at the end. <laughs> okay yeah all right that's fun down just a little bit. <laughs> I like that. Is it me or is there a bit of a a flub in the guitar? Um Rhythm I don't know, thing. check on it. We might fix. <laughs> Feels like one of those notes got stumbled. Uh, Say again? Yeah, it's almost like he uh he like edited he's like spliced it together or something and it Or his finger finger got tangled in the strings or something. Almost, it's not quite. And again, I may be overstepping here. We might undo all of this, but I'm going to try one more. That's not good. Um, I probably need to stretch this and make this work. Or just oh, put some reverb. Use elastic audio. I might, or just put some reverb on that note, because the rest of it doesn't need reverb. There's plenty of reverb on it. Yeah, yeah, you can't go from like, you know, a wet sound to a dry sound like mm -hmm. that. idea would be to do a little reverse um, again this is purely experimental This will offend his sensibilities, but it, it, I think it's helping. Yeah, you might want to pan it better, though. Yeah, true. I think that's an improvement. It is, yeah. We'll happily undo it if you if he does not like it. Uh one more thing I want to try. Okay. I think 
that makes it a little more subtle, but mm-hmm. I patched it. I, I reversed that little clip. I don't know if it matters. Well, since it's uh, since it's kind of got got like a little fade fade out tail on it, it's kind of it's uh, it's a little bit more distracting now. I think. Okay, I'll put it it's back. It's sounding a little bit more like a, a dry sound. Yeah. Okay. And it's on the Glock track, which technically I probably should make it a new track for it, but I think it's probably all right like that. Yeah, that's fine. The echo's now more in time. Yeah. And um, there's a fake kick right after it that I think should maybe be a little stronger. I know it's the same level as all the other ones, but it feels like it could use more. See, see what you think of this. I prefer that. Yeah. Okay. I'll stop fussing with it now. Now what? Onward to this monster of a final section, I guess. Okay. guitar ring we got to bring that up to the level it was on the previous chorus oh yes okay Probably gonna need need to mess with it more, but let's mess with the other guitars first. Okay. Uh, let's see. So distortion guitars to the left. Yeah, that uh, was that was guitar. probably okay. Uh, the rhythm, rhythm yeah, those those main rhythm guitars, those are probably all right where they are. Since they're, they should be at the same level or else. Yeah, they're where we left them. Okay. Yeah. So, so new new guitars? Yeah. There should be new guitars. There should be... Aha! Track 48. It's already yeah, doing okay. stuff. Yeah, we got some noise there. But let's uh, let's mess with the, the overall level starting at where... Um, where it actually really kicks in. in. It's got a lot of high frequency crud, which maybe is what you want. Yeah, hold on a second. Uh, so that should be um, that should be a little over um, halfway to the left. Forty-eight. Ah, it's up the middle at the moment. Okay. Like so. Yeah. Okay. And it's now, got some reverb in it already. Yeah. Should it roll yeah. off a little high end? Yeah, you can do that. Bring it up some. Oh, 
little bit more high end into it. Yeah, no, for that. Was that supposed to be on the right? Because it seems to be on the left again. It's supposed to be on the left. Oh, it is. Okay. that much difference because it's such a constant sound mm. only at the very initial yeah. moment is the attack gonna matter <laughs> Actually, only at the initial moment is any of the compression going to matter. <laughs> it's yeah, just going to yeah, sit there true. dropping the level consistently. Yeah. Um, pull a little bit more highs back into it, I think. Okay. Like that? Yeah. I have a feeling we should raise the drums overall at this yes, point. Maybe yes. not. I, I'm starting to feel like the drums are getting washed out. A also, little bit. I, I remember this one thinking the snare sounded really thin. Hmm. would be to lower everything a little bit that's coming in right there so that the drums get don't get lost but i kind of like that the whole thing's getting bigger so yeah, maybe i'll push yeah. the and, and that's the way that it should be is everything mm -hmm. kind of piling up on top of it so if the drums you know if the drums get a little bit like it starts starting to get a little bit buried towards the end of that you know giant section it's probably it's probably a little bit okay but um but another thing that might be okay is to, to push up the whole drum sub mix a yeah, little bit yeah as that goes. The thing is, if I do that, it's reverb's going to come up with it. Yeah. I actually was thinking that the drums could use... Oh, no. Yep. Hang on. Here we go again. But let's save. Still with me? Yeah. Okay. 
What were you saying? I was thinking the drums overall could use just a little bit more reverb. Okay. But it's also, if I do this, it's going to raise whatever else got the drum reverb, all the percussion things that were getting it. True, yeah, yeah. And that might be okay, but just be aware that we might be asking for, we might need to pull the reverb down on some of those things once we've done this. But maybe not. Maybe it'll be fine. Well, you can just uh, bring up the uh, the send to the reverb on the drums, right? Instead of cranking up the reverb itself. Well, what I'm saying is the reverb return is part of the drum submix, and that's what okay. I was going to turn up. So the I reverb see, return yes. will come up with it. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. We can I can drop the reverb send as I'm raising the drum submix and compensate. Yeah. But then, no, that's not a good idea either. Well, well, well <laughs> then the drums what if you just louder don't with uh, less reverb have the, on the drum. Have the reverb in the submix. I could take it out. Yeah. Hang on. I kind of like it there. That way, when I raise the drums, the reverb comes with it. But since the drums aren't the only thing getting reverb, that might yeah, it might yeah, be wise. Yeah, you probably to instead would want to pull up the, the, the volume going into the send. Okay. send the reverb not to the drum bus but no 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 i want to leave it there i don't want to crank up the drums and not have as much reverb either way i do it it's going to be a problem so let's just try turning it up and see if the other things that have drum reverb wind up having too much drum reverb that's my thought That was pretty good. Yeah. The drums are keeping up now. Let me uh, extend that to the whole song. I mean, the rest of the song. And the things that are getting drum reverb, we probably won't even notice. There's so much going on now. Yeah, man. I've, uh, I've lost I need stereo, to hear me some more way. tuba. I have Sorry? lost stereo. Oh, that's no good. Okay. Um, let's see. Which thing will most quickly solve that? Hang on. All right, let's log out of the meeting and log back in. I think that's okay. going to be required. Um, don't wait. Just um, give it like 45 seconds and come back. 